So they're calling this a strategic transition for a promising future. But is that really what this is all about? Well, we're going to talk about it because Hillsong College in the U.S. is shutting down. And well, good riddance as far as I'm concerned. We'll talk about what's going on in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, why not consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation? I could really use your help. There's a couple of ways you could do it. One easy way, just click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. Doesn't matter how small or how big or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. You can join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash Not By Sight News, link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You also get exclusive links to these topics that we discuss, and I include them over on Patreon now, just the way things are getting on YT. I can't take any chances of putting certain links in there they don't like. I've been, you know, popped before, uh, for it. So it's got to go to Patreon. Also there, you can comment censorship free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again, patreon.com slash news. link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Look, honestly, uh, this announcement, I'm happy about it. Hillsong College in the U.S. is shutting its doors. Uh, but the reason that they are giving here is that it's a strategic transition for a promising future. And Hillsong is promising that this is just a pause on the college aspect of the ministry and that this is not a conclusion. We are just, you know, rethinking our strategy for the future of Hillsong College, not just in the U.S., but abroad as well. Now, the announcement was made in a press release on January 9th, and here's what's going to go down. Uh, by the end of the spring semester, so as, as of May of 2024, that's it. Hillsong is done, as far as the college goes. I wish the actual church itself would be done as well, but more on that in a second. Now, of course, Hillsong College started in late 2019 in Phoenix, Arizona, before uh, it made its move out to Orange County. Uh, towards the latter part of 2022. So it hasn't been around for very long at all. Uh, and of course, right around 2019, you know, 2020, this is really when a lot of the reports of the inappropriate behavior by pastors at various Hillsong churches started to come out. Uh, and I covered all of that at the time. You know, you had Carl Lentz over in New York, talked about him, everything that happened with his inappropriate behavior there. I mean, all the way to Brian Houston himself, the founder of Hillsong, who we know resigned in disgrace back in March of 2022. Of course, you know, I reported as well recently that Brian Houston is, you know, starting a new church uh, that he said he promised was going to be launched in 2024, which I believe is going to be somewhere in the United States because, you know, he had that whole, you know, deal with Australia and how he said Australia really, you know, we felt like, you know, they turned their back on us and, you know, just ridiculous stuff that he was saying at the time. Of course, there was his, you know, arrest as well that we found out about that happened shortly uh, prior to his resignation from Hillsong, uh, his drinking issues, his inappropriate behavior issues, all of that. And look, it's always at the top. You look at the very top of any ministry, and if your leader is flawed in any way, what, what does that do? That trickles down to the rest of the ministry, which is something that has been going on in Hillsong for decades and then there's the honorarium schemes that I've talked about as well. I mean, there's just so much. So Hillsong College, again, by May of 2024, they're going to be done. Uh, whatever this you know, new approach, new vision is for Hillsong, uh, look, I would encourage anybody, if you have kids and you were ever thinking about sending them to this college, please don't. You know, they already charge like $13,000 uh, you know, a year to send your kids there to be, you know, ministry leaders. Look, there's other organizations you can better put them in, you know, other than Hillsong, if you want to get them into ministry. Keep them as far away from Hillsong as possible. Uh, you know, and also what came under criticism was the code of conduct for the college. And uh, it was said that students there were not allowed to even date anybody else until they completed their first semester. And even at that, 
They had to get permission from faculty in order to date. If you were in a relationship with somebody and you decided to break up, you had to wait at least three months after that before you could start seeing somebody else. Uh, and besides that, there was you know questionnaires going out to the students about you know certain if they had ever been involved in certain inappropriate behavior uh, and a, a bunch of other things too, which I find funny because it was their own leaders and pastors who had all of these failings themselves that nobody seemed to want to do anything about. Uh, but then, you know, again, they want to create this image with the college that they care so much about, you know, making sure that if you were involved in inappropriate behavior in the past, that you're not allowed to work in certain aspects of the college or get involved in certain parts of the ministry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not buying this at all. Uh, so again, you know, whenever we see a situation like this where another part of Hillsong is shutting down, that's a good thing. And let's not forget that after everything broke out with the Brian Houston deal, we started to see many of the Hillsong churches uh, either shut down completely or they rebranded. Uh, one of those was actually in Phoenix. Uh, you know, one of the churches there, the Hillsong Church there that rebranded itself. You had the ones in Atlanta and you had other churches too that just you know shut down altogether. You know, I know the one uh, at the Hillsong location in uh, Dallas uh, had shut its doors uh, even before Brian Houston had even resigned. So, you know, again, this is just another example of a fallen ministry and one that needs to completely go away. Uh, that's the only way that's going to bring true healing to everybody that's been, you know, hurt by Hillsong, their pastors, their leaders, staff, all of it. Just let it go. Uh, this is not in any way a ministry that is favored by the Lord in any way. They have their own agendas. They always have, and they always will. But I welcome your thoughts on this. You can leave them down below in the comment section. What I want to do right now, though, is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget, the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link in the description or just hit the super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.